Hi everyone! Today we will be learning about the mean. Not like, oh my gosh, you're so mean, but the mean of our data. So what is the mean and how do we find the mean? Well, the mean is an average. So the mean is the average of what? Well, of the data. So after you collect a bunch of data points, you can find which number is the average of all of the data points. And so when we're looking at the mean, the mean is the average in the data set. So it's the average. Well, how do we find the average? So if the mean is the average in a data set, what exactly does that look like? And what exactly does that mean? Well, in order to find it in words, simply means that you are going to one, Add all the data points together. We get our total, so add them all up, get your total. And then the second step is to divide. You divide by the number of data points. So in words, you're going to add all the numbers and then just divide by however many numbers you added together. So the mean is the average of our data. And we find it by adding all the data points together and then dividing by the number of data that we used. So let's see what this looks like as an example. So let's go ahead and look at an example. Our first example, example one. Example A. So example A, we have some numbers that we're gonna add all together and then we're going to divide. So let's say that the data we collect, the data collected, are the numbers 8, 5, 6, and 9. So our job first is going to be to add all the data together. So we have 8, 5, 6, and 9. So step one, I am going to add 8 plus 5 plus 6 plus 9 and that's going to give me a total of 28. So there is step number one, okay? Step two, so step one, step two. Step number two says that we need to divide. So step one was add, step two, divide. And we're gonna divide by one, two, three, four, because there are four data points. So we're gonna take this 28, we're gonna divide it by four, so 28 divided by four, and that is going to give us a mean or an average of seven. So the mean is seven. You will know that it's a mean or an average because it falls within the data points. So. If we were to put these in order from least to greatest, so five, six, eight, and nine, when we put these in order, the mean is going to fall right there as seven. It's not necessarily a data point that we started with, but it falls within the range. So you want it to fall within the range. Okay, all right, let's do another example. 
We'll go ahead and do another example. This example is example B. So example B. And example B says that we have a table. So we're gonna have a table of data and the table of data has text messages that have been sent. So I'm just gonna move this up and I'm gonna show you the data table. So the data table is text messages sent. And in this table, we have a few people who have sent some text messages. So we're gonna get all this information down. We have Mark, and Mark sent 120 text messages. We have Laura, and Laura sent 95. We have Stacy, Stacy sent 101. We have Josh, Josh sent 125 text messages. We have Kevin, Kevin sent 82. We have Maria, Maria sent 108. And then we have Manny, and Manny sent 90. So all of these text messages, go ahead and get this data written down. And then we're gonna organize our data. So because all of these are really like all over the place, we're gonna take one more step and we're gonna organize it from least to greatest. Okay, so in this problem, we're gonna start out by organizing our data from least to greatest. So let's just put these data points in order from smallest to biggest. Let me get a different purple so that we're still using the same data. So our least number that we have is Kevin with 82. So here's an 82. And then we had 90 and 95. After 95, it looks like we have 101, 108, 120, and then last but not least, 125. Okay, so we have all of our data points. They're all organized now. We can see the range is between 82 and 125. And we're gonna look and see what is the mean. So we wanna know what's the mean, what's the average. So our job is first, we're gonna add all of these numbers together and then we'll divide. So we're gonna add and then divide. So let's get our handy dandy calculator here. And I have 82 plus 90 plus 95 plus 101 plus 108 plus 120. And last but not least, we have 125 for a grand total of 721. So add the data points and now we need to divide. So division is gonna happen by doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven data points, so we're gonna do 721 divided by seven. So let's go ahead and divide this now by seven, and that gives us a total of 103. Does 103 fall within the range? Is it between 82 and 125? Yes, it does fall within the range. So this is our mean. 103 text messages is the average of our data points. So 103 text messages. Okay, it is your turn now. We're gonna have you do two triads. 
Um, and when you do your triads, we'll come back and um, so I want you to first, I'm going to turn the page, so hit pause right now so you don't um, miss anything. Um, otherwise, I'm going to go to the next page for your triads. All right, so our first triad, triad number one, is all about dogs and how much they weigh. So triad number one. Triad number one is about dog weight. How much do the dogs weigh? So what is the average dog weight? We have a few dogs here. We have Sparky. And Sparky weighs 18 pounds. We have um, Spot. And Spot weighs 9 pounds. We have Rover. Oh my gosh, these are like the most generic dog's names. We have Rover at 60. Here we go. Here's a unique one. Newton. Newton weighs 89. We have Diego. Diego weighs 44 pounds. We have Ruby. And Ruby weighs... 13 pounds. We have Mookie. Oh, what a fun dog name. Mookie. And Mookie weighs 54 pounds. And last but not least, we have Fido. And Fido weighs 45 pounds. Okay, so that's the first one. Go ahead and find the average dog weight. And then the second try it. The second try it is for you to solve. And this one is about air bag backpack costs. So the cost of an air bag backpack. I don't know what that is. I am guessing that's probably for like hiking or something. Um, but the air bag backpack, the data that they have found. So costs are $600. $450, all right. The next row of data we have is 300, 550, 500, 600 and 750 dollars so cost in dollars go ahead and find the average or the mean of both of these you're going to want to hit pause right now so you don't hear me solving these and then when you're ready come on back hit play and check your work all right so let's go ahead and look speaking of dog weights you can hear my dog snoring in the background probably so let's put these in order from least to greatest. We're gonna start with nine. Nine is very small. And then from nine, we go to 18. From 18, we go to 13. Oh, I missed 13. Okay, so we're gonna go with 13, then 18. Ooh, that was a close one. Um, And then after 18, we have 44. And 45, then 54, 60, and 89. All right, so we got all of our data points. First step was to add. So let's get our handy dandy calculator out. We're going to add these up. Calculator. Oh, there it is. Okay, it got hidden. <laughs> there it is. All right, ready? So at first we have 9 plus 13 plus 18 plus 44 
plus 45 plus 54 plus 60 plus 89 for a grand total of 332. We're going to divide this. Fractions, remember, are also division by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We're dividing by 8 data points. So 332 divided by 8, and that gives us a total of 41 and a half pounds. That is the average. Does it fall within our range? It does. It falls between 9 and 89, right about here. Again, not in the middle, but it's right about here. Um, <clears throat> and that's because these two numbers on the ends are so different. That's an 80 pound difference there. So the average dog weight is 41 and a half pounds. All right, we're going to go down to number two and do our try at number two. Check that one. So let's see here. It looks like we have <clears throat> 300 as the smallest. So putting these in order from least to greatest, we have $300 and 350 And then 450. We next have 500. And 550. 600. Ooh, another 600. Okay, and then 650. 750 dollars and 800. All right, so um, these are the data points for the cost of the backpack, that hiking backpack with the air thing. We're gonna add all these up and then we are going to divide. So our first step is to add 300 plus 350 plus 450 plus 500, double checking your numbers as you're putting them in there. 550 plus 600 plus 600 plus 650 plus 750 plus 800 for a grand total of 5,000 five hundred and fifty dollars. Now we're going to divide by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're going to divide by ten. Ten has one zero, so we could just take this zero off, or you can just double check yourself, and you get a total of five hundred and fifty-five dollars. That is the average cost or the mean, the mean of our data, $555 for a backpack. All right, how did you do on your try -its? How did you do on this? Where are you at in your lesson? Go ahead and answer your essential question. <clears throat> what is the mean? How do we find the mean? Once you've answered that, go ahead and put your level of understanding out to the side. One, I don't know what we're doing. I need some, I need to go back and rewatch this video or ask for help. Two, I am on the track here. I'm on the right track. I know that I just need to add and divide, but sometimes maybe my numbers get out of order or I get confused by all the data points. Or three. I totally get this. I put the numbers in order from least to greatest, add them up, and then just divide. I know that the average is the mean, and that tells us where it falls within the range. So tell me where you're at with your level of understanding. And then when you are finished, you can either come on back to the Google Meet and ask for help, or you may go and do your practice work. As always, I appreciate all of your hard work and effort, and make it a great day. Okay.